My name is Audio Customs. I'm from Task Force 47 Armor Community, and I want to talk a little bit about um, Task Force Error Review modules, how to use them uh, in an effective way. Um, like uh, giving um, defined frequencies to defined units. Well, first of all, we're going to start with uh, the main module we're using here. This one is called the TAFAR usage, uh, for, yeah, usage module, enforced usage module. You can find it on modules, category TAFAR, enforce usage. Ah, looks like this little circle here. Um, what you can do in the module is um, defining who's given what radio. Um, shall they be on uh, the same frequency on the radios and uh, this one? Okay, uh, I'm going to start on the top. Well, um, in my missions, um, I'm not giving radios to anybody. I'm going to define it. I'm going to give them the radios directly in the initiation initiation field. Oh. That's a hard word for German. <laughs> and uh yeah. Um yeah, I'm not giving them radios. Um if you have a TeamSpeak 3 server, consider creating a new channel in uh, uh, in your TeamSpeak. Um and protect it with a password. Um uh for demonstration use um yeah. Let's call the channel in your team speak. TFAR comms. Um, paste the team speak channel name in here and uh, the password from that channel. Paste it also in this field. What this basically does is um, when you start your mission and Task Force Error Radio has found um, a team speak channel with this name you're gonna be moved right into it okay so that's for this um, same shorter frequency same longer frequencies um, I'm not using that you can leave it whatever it is um, I'm defining the frequency with another module I'm talking about now so the next module is the um, TFAR frequencies module. Uh, it's also a little circle. Ungroup it. Um, with this module, you can define the frequencies uh, the unit units or unit shall be on when synchronized to it. So um, what I want to do is um, I want this whole group. Um, I call it the platoon lead. Um, to be on the same uh, short wave frequency, and um, I want the platoon leader to be also on a long range frequency. So, what I'm doing is um, I'm opening up the module, I'm setting the short wave frequency for this group here. I'm setting this to, uh, let's say, 100. Ah, no. Let's say we go to um, 65 on the short wave, and on the long range, we're gonna be on 50 megahertz. And we use uh, apply to group to synchronized objects. This means. Um, if I synchronize this module to the team leader, everybody will use everybody in this group will use this module. Yeah. Um but uh, what I've done is um, I have uh, deselected this one, so nobody's 
gonna get radio from the start so we have to give the units um, the radios to use those frequencies so um, open up your uh, unit and paste or insert the following code um, so we want to uh, give our platoon leader a long range radio so um, this at backpack this code does uh, giving the unit a backpack backpack yeah in this case backpack radio so and if you're not quite sure what um, radio you want to give uh, the unit go to this side I'm gonna paste the link later and search for the long-range radio classes and let's say we're gonna use this backpack radio copy that and paste it in here. So now this unit has a backpack radio, but also uh, we want to give him a short wave radio. A short wave radio. We use this code, this link item. Also look for the class name. Uh, where is it? Here. Um, not a radio. Copy that. And paste that in. So our first driver platoon leader got two radios, one on his back and one personal radio. Um, link item um, puts the radio the short wave radio directly into the uh, defined um, slot in your uniform, the radio slot. So, but right now, this little guy here is the only one with the radio. So we want to give those little guys radio two. We gonna copy this little code. and paste it in here in the unit in it so what we've done now is um, after those guys here have only a shortwave radio they will be on 65 on that frequency what we've defined here and our platoon leader will be on a long range radio, uh, uh, will be uh, on 50 megahertz on his long range radio, what we have given him here. 50 megahertz for the long range frequency. So, <coughs> why I have done that is because um, on the short wave radio in this group, um, 100 megahertz, only this guy shall be able to communicate with their uh, leader. And the long range radio on 50 megahertz is for communicating with this guy here, with the uh, squad leader. So, um, yeah, we're gonna copy this stuff, what's in the platoon leader in it paste it into the squad leader uh, now he's got a backpack radio and a short wave radio um, but when I uh, give him the frequency module and use group of synchronized objects this module will um, yeah give everybody on the whole squad this shortwave frequency and this long range frequency but what I want is that only 
the uh, squad leader um, has the frequencies to communicate with the squad leader uh, with the platoon leader and um, that the squad leader is able to communicate with only his fire team leaders and the fire team leaders only communicating with their fire team so that they got their frequency they got their frequency and they got their frequency I hope you know what I mean so to achieve that I don't use group of synchronized objects I use synchronized objects only and um, on the long range frequency I leave the 50 megahertz to communicate with the platoon leader and I'm gonna define a um, <sighs> what do I call it? Internal squad fire team lead channel blah blah whatever. <laughs> so I'm gonna set it up to um, 60. Uh, no, let's say 70 megahertz on the short wave radio. Oh, this guy got two radios: one to communicate with his platoon lead, and one the shot web radio to communicate with his uh, fire team leaders. Uh, now I'm going to give the fire team leaders also a backpack radio and a shot web radio. And I'm giving them the modules for the frequencies too. Ungroup it and now synchronizing those modules to the fire team leaders only. Double check synchronize objects only. Okay, so I'm gonna set their long range radio to the internal frequency to communicate with their. Um, communicate with their uh, squad leader. It's gonna be 70 megahertz. And on the uh, shortwave radio I'm gonna give them a frequency to communicate with their fire team. Um, let's say 100 megahertz, 110, 120 megahertz. Okay, what those guys now need is a personal radio now. So I'm gonna copy this code and paste it into the fire team units. And I'm defining their frequencies now. I go back to the modules, check if synchronized objects only, yes, cut that out and give them the frequency they have to be on. 100 megahertz for this fire team and I'm synchronizing the units to this module this group was 110 megahertz 
synchronize objects only. Uh, ungroup it. Synchronize it to this fire team. Frequencies to 120 megahertz. Ungroup it again and synchronize it to this fire team. Okay, to get a better look at it. Yeah, that's the way I use those modules. Um, <coughs> again, um, frequencies, you can um, put multiple frequencies on if you, if you have to use them by um, um, divide, dividing them with a comma um, and just input the frequencies in here. What this does is um, um, you can change the frequency with a numpad. If you didn't already know, you can uh, change with numpad 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and so on. Um, you can change the frequencies, the radio uh, on at this moment. Um, so this will be numpad 1, numpad 2, numpad 3. But yeah, um, for my missions I don't have to use that so I'm gonna cut it out again. Yeah, what else? Well I guess that's the basic stuff, how to use those two models, modules. Um, what I'm going to do now is, uh, yeah, um, I'm going to paste um, this link in the description and uh, download the link to um, a tutorial mission I've already made. Mm, I can show it. Um, bah, 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 bah. Where do I have it? Here. So, this is what a whole platoon looks like when I use it. Okay, um, please, uh, yeah, leave a comment or whatever. <laughs> uh, if you got any questions, feel free to ask. Um, have a nice evening. Bye bye.